Ladies and gents, welcome. We've got some sudden death action here. Eight players from the community, and there's only going to be one winner, I think. Uh, I, I guess we'll see. Um, some crazy things can happen. Basically, the way sudden death works is if you lose your town center, you're defeated. So pay attention to that town center, and don't delete it. Wouldn't recommend it. Um, let's get our introductions in here. They went random civilization, and Mega Random has given us a pretty interesting map with two horses for scouts. They don't actually have an actual scout. Uh, in the gray, we have I was, which is a unique name. In the red over here, we've got it's not delivery, it's dungeon, <laughs> which is an amazing name. That is definitely in my top five of usernames I've seen in community games. Dang. Oh, I love that. I don't know how popular DiGiorno is in, uh, you know, the, the areas everyone's watching from, but DiGiorno is a very popular or i don't know about very popular but like anyways popular enough to have advertisements for uh where i live and it's always like it's not delivery it's the giorno and here it's not delivery it's dungeon he's playing as the huns i made him go random civ he couldn't even go sicilians i'm the worst uh but anyways moving on we've got mr grumpy in the teal playing as the tootens and uh mr grumpy uh as i've been told by mr grumpy's wife who is one of the viewers here is apparently very nervous because the first time he played in the game, he was killed off very quickly. So we'll see. Uh, anyways, moving along here, we've got Rbase96 playing as the Koreans. Uh, in the yellow, we've got Zeus Boy, who played last week and was really strong, I remember, playing as the Chinese here. Uh, in the green, we've got NerdyMonk316 playing as the Lithuanians. In the blue, man, they're chatting so much. We have Tony Blair1997 playing as the Vietnamese. In the purple, we have Alita playing as the Spanish. Uh, and then last but not least... Oh, wait, no, that's literally everybody. Sorry, I can't count. So that is... Those are all our players in this game. Um, what are they talking about? What did I miss? Red said, how are we all feeling about the new patch? And our base is balanced good. Patch performance not. Uh, and Mr. Grumpy says, I don't like change. Okay, got it. Uh, by the way, I, I mirror our base's opinions. I... um. The first time in, like, years, literally said, I'm not going to play this game. The next time I was planning on playing, I'm going to try and play something else. Probably good for me to take a couple days off until they put a hot fix out. I'm just probably not going to play. Um, and I'm just going to cast because the performance has been a little bit frustrating for me. But I'm still waiting a hot fix. I think it's going to happen. It's like yeah. I'm going to schedule to play Roller Coaster Tycoon or Stronghold or one of these other games. And then they're going to put a hot fix out. And then I'll be right back to Age of Empires 2. But, you know, good thing is for community games is, you know, things don't have to be quite as smooth and quite as crisp. In fact, if there's bugs, we have a really good time with that. So that's all good. Um, okay, so, I, you know, I looked at this on the mini map, and this is actually pretty unimportant, this water terrain here. It did kind of remind me of the Two Rivers map that is in Nations Cup, though. What would you consider this? The Two Swamps? The Swampy Rivers. Ooh, I like that. Okay. And Blue says lost a vill to a boar. And our base is saying Grumpy want to team up. So it's important to mention that normally in Sudden Death, I don't allow diplomacy, so I don't allow alliances. Um, we just do straight free-for-alls, which makes it pretty brutal. Yes. But in this particular one, I wanted to make it possible to ally. Which I think could actually lead to more aggression. Because when you're allied with people... You can see what they're doing, which can give you an easier idea of where you can attack them. Very talkative crew here. <laughs> Incredibly talkative crew. Also, shout out to Gray, who hasn't moved these horses at all. Gray. <laughs> Is Gray scouting with a villager? Wait a second. Oh, no. Oh, Gray has been scouting with a villager for like the whole Dark Age, apparently. Ay, yeah, 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 yeah. I guess Gray's not used to horses. Well, for those that don't know, like Gray, the horses are, are... It's like a scout, except you can't attack with it, and you can't push deer. They don't react to deer or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I guess Gray maybe thinks they're part of the terrain. Actually, I kind of get it, because some map generations have horses, right? I, it never clicked with me, but occasionally there's a map generation that will have camels and yeah. horses... And they, the exact same camels and horses that you would get in, like, Mega Random starts as a scout. So I'm guessing that Gray has enough knowledge to know that they're part of the game, but doesn't know you can actually control them. 
Also, doesn't help that you're gray. So, you know, if you were to click one of the Gaia units, it would be gray. So, probably just assumes they can't be used right now. Guys, why you know ally me, says Tony. And I think everyone's allied to you except one person. Red is saying, is player three ally with anyone? And I, Nerdy Monk's been around. I think Nerdy Monk is just, you know, trying to make sure the start isn't abysmal here. And Nerdy Monk's had a pretty good start so far. But they're talking about him. And rule number one of Diplo is ally everyone at the start. Otherwise, this discussion happens. And Red says, hmm, well, we all know the rules. So, I mean, Nerdy Monk, there's been ample opportunity for you to realize this. So I hope you realize this soon. Because otherwise, there's a big old target on your back. Especially if you have a good fast castle time. And it looks like you know what you're doing with your build order, too. So that that's a bit of a problem. Anyways, hope everyone out there is having a really nice day. Uh, whether you're watching live or watching later on in video. I uh, had a bit of a rough week, honestly. Um, and so uh, today, woke up. Got some things done I needed to. Feeling better about a lot of different things. And uh, in a good spot to cast right now. So if you're not having a good day, I hope this helps. If you're already having a pretty good day, I hope I add to it. So, uh, curious though if Blue's gonna see these sheep. No, Blue could really use those three sheep, but it's just missing those sheep. And you can see now that Green is allying some people, but not everybody, which again I would disagree with. So, bruh, I didn't realize we had horses. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it so much better that Gray just realized. I think Gray saw the chat <laughs> from our base. I'm enjoying all the horse he's running past. I think Gray was like, man, I'm such an idiot. I thought they were sheep. Oh, that's so much worse than what I had suspected. Okay. You thought the horses were sheep. Dang, but you didn't try and eat them? <laughs> I'm very confused. You didn't try and move them underneath your town center. I don't know. I don't believe it. Hmm. Yes. Anyways, very chatty game by Sudden Death Standards. And Nerdy Monk's like, oh god, I broke rule number one! And you know what rule number two is in Sudden Death, right, guys? Rule number two. I should... You know, it'd be pretty fun content if I got, like, a notepad out. Like a teacher would do with a chalkboard or a whiteboard and be like, now class, listen... I should do that one of these days. I'll do it eventually, but um, here's the deal. Rule number one is always ally everybody at the start. Rule number two, no, it's not fight naked. Don't attack first is pretty good, but I think rule number two is just commit, okay? Don't be one of those guys. It's like, okay, we're just going to go with a couple, like one or two traps. No, you got to YOLO in sudden death. You got to commit. Even if you don't even have the largest army, if you just have enough siege... And enough commitment, you can take out people's TCs. Anyways, people are arriving to the next stage. We can see some walls are coming up. I do not blame them. And everyone is talking about their ELO now. Um, so Alita and Tony Blair are apparently very close in rank. That's good to know. We have our base on the way to Castle H, And we have, it's not delivery, it's Don Geno's. I forgot the O's part at the start. But Huns, and then Koreans. I really like Koreans for one town center. They have great towers. They have great unique unit. The strong units out of their castles, which you might want offensively or defensively. It's not too bad. Our base pretty chatty here. Our base a big part of the community. It's been around for quite a few years now. He's playing pretty solid here, but I'm not going to compliment him too much because he'll rewatch this later. I can't have that. And Zeus Boy, again, played last week uh, and, and was pretty good in, in yes. the late game. Now, it wasn't a sudden death game. It was a, more of a standard setting game. But the fact that Zeus Boy is talking to our base, who's already pretty strong, and is saying green isn't too friendly, what do you say we ally and take him down? He looks strong. And our base says, yeah, he's not really talking as he looks good. The red says, no fish. And I, I was hoping red would have docked there and made the mistake, but no, it's, there's no dock there. So water again, pretty unimportant here. 
And whoa. Okay, Tony Blair. So we're going to have gates on the sides of the TC. I mean, you're going to have to get rid of these farms eventually if you want to do this. I feel like this is something we need to see more of Snippies playing in a game. <laughs> God, there was a clip. I'm not sure if it's the right idea to edit it into the video here. Because I think we're going to eventually make an actual video of it. But I've forgotten about it. I played in a sudden death game six months ago. And Snippy was in the game. And I had the most god tier start ever. I had a thousand score lead on all the other players. I had like three of the five relics. I was fast imping. I had a fish boom. Everything was going perfect. And Snippy rolled into my freaking base. Dude was bottom score and petarded my TC. Anyways, I'd forgotten about that. And thankfully, well, I say thankfully, I'm kind of also upset that it, people were reminded of it. But at the end of the day, it's content. And thankfully, it was posted in our Discord, and that moment was not lost. But yeah, I mean, again, the commitment side of this is important. And Blue has timed this pretty nicely. The farms are starting to expire. You can still leave the town center because you can go, you know, out of the gates. So I, I appreciate this from Blue. I'm not sure at this stage of the game it's worth it, but I appreciate it. Okay, we have some chatter still. I'm going to remove market events for community games. Hey, Perp, think we could be good trade partners in a bit? If you're interested. I am down for that, but Gray will be in the way. That sh should be too big. That should be too big a problem. He was chatting to me earlier. I think one's friends. Okay. Sounds good to me. Then I will place the market on the west corner. That should be the safest. Man, these guys are pro Diplo players. Let me tell you. Except for you, Green. I think you're going to die. <laughs> Love you. But based on everything that's happening here, I do not think people are going to let you survive very long. But it's crazy. Literally just like not chatting at the start, but also not having someone set to ally immediately. It just puts so much distrust in people's minds. Well, Sully says, our base has molasses APM. He won't be able to talk to both Teal and Yellow separately much longer. Okay, good to know. Alrighty. So, you know, I, I do think for the majority of players, the ambitions are rather low in these games, and they just say, I hope I don't die first, right? Or they don't want to die early. They might have some strategies and some plans. I know for Teal there was some concerns that he would possibly go out of the game too early. Red says, I've had two minutes idle TC already. Does it show in this version of Capture Age? I don't think it does. Uh, it would have been interesting to check that. Yeah, not really a priority for us here. I think the approach here for Grumpy probably wasn't the best for Sudden Death. Normally, you want to get Castle Age as fast as possible. But we do have walls coming up. And we've got some gates over here. And no one seems to really want to attack Mr. Grumpy. Is that a bad name for diplomacy, by the way? Like, if he was Mr. Friendly, would less people want to kill him? It's a little too late now. You know, you, you could try and change your reputation, I guess. But, like, th this is probably reaching a bit. But I genuinely believe that the name Mr. Grumpy is just asking to be killed, right? Because imagine if we're like, man, I really would like another ally. Who should I reach out to? Are they going to reach out to Mr. Grumpy? Or are they going to reach out to yeah, Nerdy Monk? I don't know. Just things I think about. Elitus says, oh, right. We can't get any more TCs. Yeah, so it seems like purple and red are pretty no. good friends right now. Uh, And, you know, Gray had some struggles. Gray thought horses were sheep. So, you know, Gray, maybe not in the best of positions to be able to chat at the same time as everything else. But I do seem interested in keeping Gray as part of some type of an alliance. Um, and our base says green is so unprotected. Can you make camel or halb? I'll be up imp soon and get trebs. And Zeus boy says sweet. I'll make halb. Yes. So they are working together over here, big time. Um, if he was Mister Friendly, maybe people would want to kill him for seemingly obnoxious for being obnoxiously positive. I guess it depends on the type of person you are, right? 
Okay. I'm gonna change my name to the cutest puppy. No, you won't. You will never change your name from Supplies. Supplies is a good name. Too late to change it. All right, so something that Mr. Grumpy's gonna have going for him is the market is in the south, so people might want to trade that direction. But our base has not made a gate here. And uh, eco counts, uh, you can see it on the left side. Again, the beauty is sudden death. Everyone's got a bit of a chance. But obviously, we have some different levels here because we have imp coming in for our base. Two castles, the ability to make trebs like our base said he would do. Plenty of golden stone on the map right now to work with. I might be biased, but I like being friends with people who seem grumpy because I might be their only friend and loyalty. Ah, interesting. Ah, true. Ah, oh, so they're not like friends with everybody. So if they are friends with you, you know that it's a good thing. Ah. All right. Well, there's hope for all the grumpy people out there. Wow. Holy stone walls. Extra layer of stone walls for Alita. Also making a castle there. Stone walls are interesting. That's some next level strat. Red dropped. No. No, or his pizza got here and he left. Well, thanks, DE. Uh, it also might be that his neighbor has been sealing his Wi-Fi and the game disconnected. I'm not exactly sure what happened, but I do know Red is disconnected. Red, I'm sad because you're a big part of this game. I'm curious now what happens to Elita and Gray, who are going to be your teammates. And our base says, well, that helps our situation a bit. So our base immediately is like, well, don't really care about that guy. It helps me. It's not delivery, it's drop. Yes. Hmm. And Tony Blair says, thanks, DE. Can I, can I tell a quick story about thanks, DE, real quick? By the way, do we have a thanks, DE emote here? I don't know if it's, it actually doesn't show in chat. Because it's like a very common phrase these days. But at, anyways, I just wanted to, to talk about how it originated. So... I don't know if you ever played the HD edition of Age of Empires 2. Um, it was a buggy mess. It was an out-and-out -out cash grab. I'm not going to get... I'm not really going to, you know, talk about too much because I could I could get going. It was an out-and-out -out cash grab. They made tens of millions of dollars on it. They didn't put improvements into it. It was a bug fest. It was horrible. But it brought a lot of people back to the game. But it was like, for all the complaints we have about the Definitive Edition, um, it, it was bad. And so that it actually started back with thanks HD, okay? And it was like, you know, any sort of problem you have, even if we weren't on HD anymore, people would say thanks HD. No. Um, and it was back when the thanks Obama meme was big. And I don't know how many people are familiar with that. And I don't even remember how that started, but you know, they, I guess the emotes here are a little bit bigger so you can clearly see it's Obama's face. So we might be need to cut it out because I don't want his legal team reaching out to me. But, but yeah, like people never realized that it was Obama's face in this little graphic that we have. I don't know if we'll be able to get netted in for that or whatever, but um, anyways, I just think I, it was kind of funny because I remember having that for a couple years, the emote, and then someone was like, wait a second, that's Obama? <laughs> and then, you know, now we just say thanks to E, so. But yeah, that, that goes way back. I might even go on back to... No, it would go back to 2013. Also, fun fact... An interesting fact, and I, I still, this keeps me up at night sometimes, because I don't know where my life would be. I got a Steam gift card from my brother-in-law for my birthday in April of 2013. I'd never used Steam before, but I had a school laptop. So it was my birthday, right? So my birthday is April 9th, and I loaded up Steam to see what Steam was all about. And on the front page of Steam was Age of Empires 2 HD Edition. Why? Because on my birthday in 2013, the HD edition came out. And I wonder if the next day, HD would have been on the front page of Steam. Because if there was... If I went to Steam any other day that year, I wonder if it would have been there had I not seen it. Maybe I would have downloaded some other game. I might not have come back to Age of Empires 2. I might have never made the channel. I, I don't know where things would be for Age of Empires 2, for myself especially. So yeah, it's just crazy to think about. I'm not someone who thinks that things are meant to be necessarily, but if you're one of those people, you're probably saying it was. Okay, so we got some Trebs rolling in from our base. 
And we called this pretty early on. But everyone's kind of looking for a target in these games. It does look like Nerdy Monk sees this. Uh, and we have quite a few crossbowmen. However, the crossbowmen, they can't take out the trebs that quickly. So I believe the TC will just end up going down. Like, you could kill the pikes. You could kill a one or two of the trebs. But the other trebs will still take out your town center. This is pretty brutal, of course, but this is probably the end for Nerdy Monk. I didn't know the thanks Obama because I didn't speak a word of English in 2013. Oh, gotcha. Well, goodbye, Green. <laughs> I, f I feel a little bad, right? <laughs> it's pretty brutal, but it is what it is, and it seems like Green had an opportunity to maybe spot some of that. Green was also top score, made a lot of army. So there was a big old target right on Nerdy Monk. I mean, yellow and orange, it seems like they're just going to go on a run uh, across the map, kill everybody else first. I mean, this this does not seem like a game where there's going to be a lot of comeback potential. And, I mean, our base is even telling yellow to take the gold. Our base is being a really good teammate right now. And will blue sense that this is going to come this direction? It seems like our base calculated the amount of trebs needed there as well. But I think on flat ground, you do like 420, 430 damage per treb shot. Um, and then each TC is 2400 HP. So I'm doing the math on that. I feel like he had the hill, right? And because he had the hill, he did just enough damage. That was pretty beautiful, though. You attack the Cavs as our base. Well, yes, of course. Halbs do counter this and... Yellow and orange both turn on blue. Blue turn has not turned on them yet. Oh god. Okay, you missed a crucial step here, blue. What this is this is what we call panic. Um a little embarrassing for Tony. Tony has now realized it, I believe. The villagers, I mean, credit to them for fighting back. I probably wouldn't do that if I were a villager. I'd probably run away. Um, but the Trebs are still firing on the TC. And that is going to be another TC going down just like that. And there has not been an awful lot of resistance for these trebuchets. Blue is out of the game. And this might continue on over to purple space. But purple has a little bit more time. Like, everyone's getting picked off now. The purple must be realizing now the situation. And sorry, Tony. Tony says GG. Damn. It's probably a frustrating feeling, right? And we'll see if the others are going to be able to band together to kill the bullies right now. Because this seems like a stomp so far. If you're a good player, and it's Diplo, it is kind of smart to just team up with another really good player. Because you're going to be the targets. Kill off all the weaklings, if, at least that's what you might consider them. And then you can fight your little 1v1. Like, that that's what players like to do. I don't necessarily think those games are that entertaining. So, I am absolutely hoping that our base and Zeus Boy either turn on each other or somebody turns on them. Uh, green is out of the game, and Gray thought it was necessary to turn on Green to kill the horse. I like it. Okay. Um, our base says we're moving anti-clockwise. So, purple next? That's more of a fight. Purple next? Okay, let's go. Destroy the castle. These two are just... It's uh, like it's them against the world. And no signs that they're really going to change their strategies. I mean, these trebuchets from our base could make his way to yellow at some point. But yellow has made quite a few little onion loops. That's right, I called it an onion loop. A layer. We've got trebs from gray, but like these... Obviously, it, it hurts that red is gone. Because red was the chattiest on the other side. Mr. Grumpy is, well, not the most chatty. It really hurts they don't have someone to be like, okay, guys, let's work together here. Because it still is going to be two people versus one. Look at our base. He says, oh, interesting. He says, once purple dies, you should go for yellow with siege rams. Well, you're telling Mr. Grumpy to go siege rams. They, it, Tutans don't get siege ram. But this is more along the lines of what I want to see. Also, yellow holding Teal's gate open with a monk. Is that intentional? How does that guy's bald head not hurt right now? That would be painful. His monks do some pretty crazy trainings. But, okay, our base turns, and everyone's surprised. Purple, though, has high levels of resistance here. Purple's got a lot of conks. 
Tongs do a lot of damage against Trebs. And they're good against Halb, too. So I, I don't actually think that purple's going to get rolled over. It took green and blue going down as a warning. But our base and Zeus Boy not able to kill a player. I, I would say just back away here for purple. Yeah, get the Treb back away. That's really well done. Just run back behind your gate. Because Halb still do bonus damage. Or you could just do a lot of hitting and running here. Okay, there are war wagons on the way. So war wagons are a bit tougher. So again, purple, just use your walls. Just run, a, just just get get behind, get get behind the walls. Hey guys, what do you, what do you call purple's units? <laughs> Alita conquistadors. <laughs> get it? Because purple's name is Alita. That was great. Okay. Well, in a big issue uh, that you're seeing here for yellow and for orange will be the fact they don't have forward production. So yellow's going to try and solve that by building buildings here. Because otherwise, you're just producing from your base. And purple's backing away every so often. But again, the halves do so much bonus damage that it is still kind of an awkward engagement. I feel like it would have been wiser to fall behind the walls. But, you know, the Conquistadors wanted to spread their, their wings and fly. I really don't want to look at this anymore because it makes me sad to see all these horses go down. Purple has definitely created more work for herself, uh, himself here. Or herself, I, I don't know. Our base still chatting up Teal. And Teal says, you think that would work? Says, yeah, just go Halb Seed your champ. Halb would be epic. Or champ would be epic. I'm going from the front instead as our base is going to switch the chat. Again, I have no clue where Purple's going. I don't think Purple knows where Purple's going. Purple's just going places. Purple's just like, get away from my base by chasing me, I guess. And that's something. I see gray is Burmese elephants. Doesn't have many upgrades on them, but has Trebs as well. And gray was going to be included in the plans of red and purple. But red is now gone, so I'm not sure if gray really feels much allegiance to purple. But purple's playing very strong. The eco counts are important here because when you're on one TC and doing a lot of different things, it's important to keep that TC working. Alita only 55 villagers, but does have really good units. Um, again, not sure where Gray will go. Watch out, Orange. Oh, this is funny. Look out. This is so funny. So Yellow is being loyal to, to our base. Yes. Warning our base about this army. But this is an army that our base told Teal to make. <laughs> So Yellow's like, look out, bro. Trying to have his back. It's possible he was looking here as well. Is our base going to turn here? Or is our base going to hang Mr. Grumpy out to dry? By by turning on him. And that way, he preserves his alliance with Yellow. Because if Yellow knows about this... Oh, uh, this is a distraction technique from our base. He signals here and says, watch there, we need help. Ooh... Halb against walls, our base? I see what you're trying to do. So yellow now turns on teal. Oh, goodness. Run away, run away, run away. And our base is like, dude, stop making these units. He's like, he has Halb. Cab won't work. And oh, boy. Mr. Grumpy's about to be a whole lot more grumpy. Teutonic Knights would actually be really good against the Halbs. I mean, to be fair, our base did tell him to make Halbs. But, you know, maybe Grumpy wanted to make some horsey boys. And I think Zeus Boy understands something's weird here. He says enemy him. Zeus Boy does not like what... Like the inactivity here from our base. And I think our base might have... Possibly placed his bets on the wrong guy. Or at least the timing wasn't really there. But we do have some Teutonic Knights now. So I'm getting more excited. And our base says not yet. I have a plan. Credit to Teal for trying here. Should have probably coordinated, right? Should have said, okay, I'm making a move now. But didn't really do that, and a lot of resources have gone down the drain now. Purple has lots of fortifications. Remember, the game plan here is to take out people's town centers, right? So as rough as certain aspects of the game may look, if you take out the TCs, you'll be feeling good about life. Means Gray could do it, right? Anyone could do it. And I do not know what we are going to see next. 
Okay, like, will our base commit here? <laughs> I like the attempt here from Grumpy. Grumpy says, why you switch on me? Hmm. <laughs> Listen, from our perspective, it looked fairly obvious. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll see what yellow says to that elita says let's go for our base first because less walls question mark i think they stopped going for me all right so this is to teal and this is also to gray despite how obvious it looked from teal i think that's the correct play right to say something there i like to see teal being a bit chatty okay so we had one player die with connection we had two players get sniped fairly quickly and grumpy says i was planning on it but yellow is a little bit of a butt all right i think that's what he meant to say a little bit of a butt he's not that big of a butt if he was a big buddy he'd have two teeth i don't know i'm running out of things to talk about right now oh wait here we go we have some uh Bombard cannons. Purple somehow is going to have to find an area to click them and did a really good job there. Good unit control. I'm pretty sure Conks beat uh, War Wagons, though both units are tanky. The purple could also take the fight. Conks just do so much damage. I wonder if gold's going to be an issue. Let's look at their stockpiles. Mm, I, I don't think it'll be that much of an issue right now. Maybe it will later on. I think you go gray first. Gray and purple together are scary. So our base is now telling Mr. Grumpy to go for somebody else. But he's still attacking yellow. I think yellow is going to say something soon like, yo, help me, our base. And our base is going to have to make a decision. Because I'm sure our base really wants to try and maintain the friendship with yellow and teal. But I think, you know, if your allies realize you're not fighting with them, they're going to get a little testy. And Grumpy <laughs> saying, Tootins! Love it. Yellow should add Chukanu here with the Chinese. Adding some archers is important now. And, I mean, the Teutonic Knights are sick, man. Look at these KP boys go. They're going to shred the Halbs. You need, like, 100 Halbs to kill one Teutonic Knight. But yellow is still trying to, to help out and pressure this way. Ooh, gray made a move on purple. I can't help but feel like that's... I think the way this game is going, it's going to be a long one. Because all the alliances are breaking, right? Teal says capes greater than no capes, which I agree. Um, our base is kind of like having some side conversations away from yellow. Teal is having some conversations about orange. Gray is now turned on purple. However, gray and orange together could kill purple, which would be a problem. Those Teutonic Knights are now going to get eaten alive by the Chukunu. Chukunu, very good in these situations. Hmm. I, I mean, purple... I think what you have to do in Purple's position is just stay alive long enough where they just give up. <laughs> I don't think you can snipe anybody realistically. But you have enough Conquistadors. You have enough castles. Maybe you can hold. That that said, there's a lot of elephants. I mean, look at how much HP is against you. You've got... Trying to add it up. That's about 20,000 HP. And it does feel like maybe the walls and castles will eventually get ground down. You going for purple, says our base. Oh, oh, oh. If, if Gray were to switch the plans right now, Gray would say, I was. <laughs> Actually, no, you just, you just, you start typing, you press space, and you press enter. You answer with your own name. Gray says, yeah, he kind of betrayed me. How? Did I, I didn't see that. Um... Well, but yeah, Purple's tried this before using the Conquistadors against the Siege, but that is a lot of army protecting it. And the castles as well. Oh my god, Purple, go through the Palisade Wall and kill Grey right now. Oh man, the, the unit control, not as good as it was before. Oh, 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 we have Paladins from Mr. Grumpy! 
Oh my goodness, the TC's wide open. Oh, the conks are gonna shred. And Gray says, oh no. Hey, uh, Gray, were you in this community game? I was. He's dead. Well played. Grumpy does get the assist on that. But that's a great way for Purple to keep himself alive here. Because now it is just one player up against them. Obviously, Yellow could join in. But Yellow, it seems, is very angry with Mr. Grumpy. Mr. Grumpy's backing away now. Good stuff. Looks like Blue's happy about that. Blue obviously has been defeated for a bit. He's still cheering for Alita. Uh, that is a really tough composition to fight unless you have Heavy Siege. And uh, uh, fortunately, you do have some castles with Teutons that could have some extra range, but Keel doesn't have those upgrades. Yep, Halb's in front, Chukunu behind. This is perfect unit control from Zeus Boy. And we now have Arbe saying, I'm pushing through gray. Sorry, purple. I'm colorblind today. I'm not sure exactly what he means. He's pushing through. Oh, oh, I see. He's saying, I'm pushing through to purple. Okay, I gotcha. And uh, he was just clarifying. And purple, it doesn't seem to realize the bomber cannons are there. Will will survive? Shoot the bomber cannon? Kill the bomber cannon? Oh! Uh! Kill it. Also got a big fight over here. And the Tootons are still surviving. And Purple still survives as well. So our base still probably in a position to kill Purple. But, you know, he's still got Teal pushing. And Teal's coming over with Trebs right now. Very satisfying looking base for Zeus Boy, though. I have to say. There's just something about it. I don't see any massive over chops. And Grumpy, dude, you, you're challenging top score. What a legend. I'm coming, yellow. <laughs> it's like trying to freak the guy out. I mean, it's not like yellow would be focused on anything else right now. Yellow's still going to go halb Chukunu. And purple's still trying to survive, but it feels like the war wagon numbers are too much for purple now. There's no way that our base can be surprised unless Teal. Was that a strategy to kill our base? No, it wasn't. That would be so epic, though, to say, I'm coming, yellow, and then go kill our base. But I feel like he might he might need our base. The longer purple stays alive, the more difficult things are for our base in this game, by the way. Oh my god! Oh my god! Mr. Grumpy! He turns on our base! What a strat! Please tell me he's actually going for the TC here. Oh my god. Two of them! He's going for the tower! Ah! Uh oh. Uh. He's never changing his name. He's never changing it. What's happening? No. Wait, 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 wait. It's all under control. It's all under control. There's enough trebs there. Repair, repair, repair our base. Our base is dead. I'm so happy for Grumpy that actually worked because that would have been a pretty epic fail. Zeus Boy says, no, my ally. And Alita is so happy now because Alita was about to die. Man, and Grumpy just screams, I'm married? Which is a very interesting war cry. And maybe Grumpy's like, man, there's going to be so many single ladies who are going to... Oh, I see. Okay, no love for you, Orange. I thought maybe Grumpy thought you'd be getting a lot of DMs after that epic snipe. You know, that happens a lot in community games. You play well. Suddenly, you've got a lot of DMs, but uh, or so I've heard. Um, well, interesting moment there. We now have three people left in this game. We have Zeus Boy, who has probably a big target on his back. Zeus Boy, uh, 87 Eco, uh, which is the highest of players who are still alive. And then we have a military count of 43. Military count uh, for, for Grumpy, I'm not really sure on. Let's just see. 17, and then for Lita, it's 25. So Yellow could push right now. And let's look at the stockpile. Grumpy's got the most gold, actually. Oh, no, I lied. Never mind. Yellow has a bit more. But still lots of gold, lots of resources for both. Gray really struggling. Um, Grumpy says, Purple, if you help kill Yellow, I'll give you win. And Zeus Boy says, OMG, I heard that. And Grumpy says, I know. <laughs> All right. So, I mean, Purple's obviously going to make a move towards Yellow. But they would really need to work together or... One of them will need to be fighting a pretty back-and-forth 1v1 against Yellow, while the other one surprises Yellow. 
So, you know, I imagine that yellow is probably going to be like paying very close attention to the map, right? Just looking for purple or teal. Like this would freak me out. Like I would be killing that horse because I'd see the little teal on the mini map. And Grumpy has Trebs on the way and says, I have Trebs left. You can tell how happy Grumpy is that this game has gone better than the first community game. There goes some conquistadors. All right, so our base got killed by Grumpy. That was a pretty epic snipe there. Here's a question. Do you guys think that if Teal just tried to get yellow and failed, that our base would have worked with Teal eventually against yellow? Because I, I actually, I think there was a perfect snipe from our, from uh, Grumpy because I think our base would have never truly fought with Grumpy. I think Grumpy was always going to be a player that our base just used and never truly relied on. And Purple says, Halb's coming your way. And Grumpy says, I will eat them. Grumpy is not chatting to one player specifically now. He's chatting to everybody. Purple's getting a big old raid in on Yellow. And it's going to be tricky for Yellow to, to really, like, deal with both pushes now. I think if I remember from one of the other community games, people said Zeus Boy was maybe like 14 or 1500. But these are strong armies here. Like some of the strongest armies you could be up against, Elite Conquistadors, and then Paladins and Teutonic Knights. And these castles were great castles if you're pushing, but now that you're out of position, Teal could push them. And oh my god, Grumpy! 15 trebs. I did say rule number two of sudden death is to commit. Our base has agreed. Teal made the right play. Well, respect to you for acknowledging that. I like how... I don't know if you did it intentionally, but I like how you did the technique I talk about a lot. Where you should use the repair hotkey instead of right-clicking so the villagers are in the middle of the TC. Because sometimes the treb shots will hit the villa, not the TC. Hmm... All right. Well, that castle's not going to last long. That castle goes down. The Conquistadors from Purple are still threatening. But Yellow maybe has has to prioritize a little bit more now. And Yellow, very focused. We're not seeing a lot of chatter right now. It does kind of feel like Yellow is the player who might fall into third place here. It is pretty much a 2v1. Well, someone said the hotfix is out. The hotfix is out like a, a live hotfix for the patch? Well, that's funny because I tweeted about it yesterday. I was getting really frustrated. It's kind of ironic that they, they push it out now. <laughs> the timing on my comments, man. Well, if that is the case, maybe people will need to update their games. I still don't know if I could trust it. By the way, there is a... Wow. Okay, this is important stuff. There is a wolf which is attacking a villager from Grey, who is defeated. But, while that wolf is being attacked, there is a monk healing it. So, apparently this wolf is going to infinitely attack the villager and get healed. This villager will still be standing here, and this wolf will still be attacking whenever this game ends. Have you ever seen this before? <laughs> and she doesn't even care. She's like, I've got a monk. I don't need to defend myself or smack you with my basket there, wolf. Who cares? <laughs> That's great. Okay. Anyways, big old engagement over here. I suddenly care a little bit less about that after seeing a wolf. And, uh, ooh, a lot of the Kikisnors have got eaten here. Teal doesn't have a lot to protect the Trebs. Yellow is held on here. Military count still consistent, still very strong. And again, most of the engagements are happening directly next to Yellow's base. So the reinforcement should come in a lot faster. Dang. <laughs> it continues. I don't see what could possibly change that would make this not continue the cycle. Right? Like someone would have to come over here and attack something. Purple says I'll switch to something else. Honestly, I think the number one thing that purple could go for would be skirms. And of course, we have a million stables and we have a million barracks, but we don't have a million archer ranges. Because students don't have very good skirmishers, I feel like skirmishers would be strong. I, I don't think conquistadors are bad, but it might just not be realistic in the long term because of the lack of trade. Champs? Not, not against Shukanu. 
champs against Shukunu that do like, what is it, 13 damage, I think would be a mistake. Plus, you've already got Teutonic Knights, right? The, the team's got Teutonic Knights. They're better than champions. Hmm. I will switch to something else. And Teal just says, I have a scout. Which is this horse. Which I had talked about earlier. Teuton Skirm's Lack Bracer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why I mean... Um, that's why I mean we should probably see it from, from the Spanish player here. Steam players can head into the weekend with the latest public update preview. A hotfix is in the works to address issues. Okay, so it's a pup build to test their fixes before they push the fixes live. Got it. Well, hopefully it does well. They did have a pup build for the patch for a couple weeks, and the issues were still introduced, so we'll see how it goes. But I, I do appreciate it, you know, soon after my negative comments they eventually got to it i'm sure they're working on it the whole time just like grumpy is working on yellow's buildings right now and like you take out this gate you can absolutely take out yellow's tc right you can sit underneath the towers that's fine i think this might be the end for yellow again you just have to commit and does does teal have an idea of exactly where that tc is no and i think that probably hurts the opportunities here, so Teal might just continue to fight here. But I mean, they're owning. Dang. Interesting. And how many trebs is it? Is it still 15? It's the same 15 trebs. Dang. Yeah, so you'd need to move forward to see the town center. The farms are something we see as a spectator. The player won't see it. So using a couple of trebs as a scout is good here. But I'm worried he's just going to grind down the towers, which... Might end up wasting too much time. Let's see. It takes some real guts for Mr. Grumpy to continue to move in here. Because the army count is dwindling. Looking, looking, looking. Searching. Seize the town center. Click it. This can't be more awkward than when he went for our base. Um, Actually, you could go underneath the gate. Bro. <laughs> this is why he makes a lot of trebs. Bro. Okay. <laughs> and now he can't escape. <laughs> Guys, the funny thing is he can't escape with the trebs because the gate closed somehow. So yellow's dead, but all of yellow's towers and castles are going to continue to fire. So Grumpy... Well, I guess actually the trebs will take them out. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the trebs. That's kind of funny. Grumpy gets another kill, which I didn't expect at all. Grumpy made freaking scouts and went feudal age while everyone else was booming in this game. And Purple almost can't believe it. Oh, God. Purple. By the way, this is happening. <laughs> Yellow's castle is over 30 kills. Okay. Well, that's why Purple didn't have reinforcements. Grumpy living the dream. Um, we now have 76 military for Grumpy. And Grumpy says, I don't know why I am still alive. And Purple says, this whole game was so close. Same here. I had TC on like 500 HP and you saved me. Okay, so Purple seems to have a lot of respect here for Grumpy. Update on the wolf. Yep, still happening. Still happening. Gotta love it. Love Age of Empires too. Hmm. How are the Trebs doing? Well, the Trebs can escape now. That's important. They did good work. So I imagine these two are going to have to fight, right? I feel like they're just soaking in the moment here, you know? Soaking in the moment. They didn't think that they would be the final two. Look how confident Purple is. Well, time to end this. I will probably lose because I have nothing. Great confidence. Love to see it. Um, I mean, after seeing Grumpy destroy Yellow with that many trebs... I could see why your confidence would be a little bit low. Let's look at stockpiles. I mean, Purple can work with that. Purple can absolutely work with that. Grumpy says, don't say that. Okay, so they're going to be nice to each other now. I I don't know, man. Like, they're both going to be pretty hard to kill, I feel. But Teutonic Knights, Paladins, and oh, Lord, he coming with the Trebs. The trebs are going to be pretty strong. I think Conquistador again, though, would be so good. A Conquistador and Halberdier would be great. Lots of production buildings. Halb upgrades on the way. 
T90, how about a community game with hidden scores so the higher player score doesn't get teamed up on? Uh, it sounds like a really bad idea, actually. I really like the score for that reason. I think it's an important aspect. It sounds like you're just tired of getting killed because you're a really good player. <laughs> I, that might not be the case. I don't really remember. No, I really like the score. Also, I'm not sure if that would be possible without a data mod. I think the score aspect is kind of important. It gives you a good idea of the flow of the game, right? When you're in the game and whatnot. I do remember hidden scores and also hidden age as a thing we tested years back. I would kind of be interested in trying that again for 1v1s. Like, for example, when you arrive to Feudal Age right now in a game, there's a pop-up, right? So everyone sees it. Not knowing if your opponent's in the next stage until you scout their buildings and not being able to determine if you're winning or losing based on the score is a very interesting thing for me. So I wouldn't actually mind doing that in like a 1v1 scenario. Purple says, I don't know what else to make. I normally just play poles and spam calves. And Grumpy says, well, I normally just die. So these two are sharing their experiences in this game, but they've made it down to the final two with some really good players. We had our base and Zeus Boy seemingly destroying everybody, and somehow they fell apart largely due to Grumpy's actions. And I just don't know if Purple has what it takes here, right? Like, the Halbs are taking the worst possible fight here against the, the Teutonic Knights. There's 41 Teutonic Knights here. There will be 41 Teutonic Knights still here after the Halbs come in. And the Trebs are on the way. And you, as we've seen before, Purple doesn't need to take much more than this castle. You take out the castle and then you go in for the town center and that's it. And Teal should be able to see that pretty quickly. Purple says, just out of curiosity, what's good versus Teutonic Knights? Well, Gunpowder is really good versus Teutonic Knights. <laughs> Grumpy says nothing. <laughs> I mean, the Teutonic Knights have been insane. They have capes. True! Yeah, at least the intimidation factor alone. I like how Teal took out that wall... And now is headed this way to take out another wall. Just again, just doesn't know what's back there. Uh, Hussars are on the way to, to take the Trebs. You can take some of the Trebs, but you can't take all of the Trebs. And Grumpy's had a great game so far. Hussars will not win this engagement against the Paladins. They're strong enough, though, to be able to take out some of the Siege. These Trebs need to be moving forward now. Also, I'm wondering if Ironclad is in for Grumpy. I feel like I'm not seeing any differences in the stats here, so I'm guessing no. Ironclad means you have more melee armor with your Sieges, Teutons, and I'm pretty sure that applies to the Trebs. And there's more Trebs rolling in! Teutonic Knights, they have 96 kills, this group. And Purple just rewalled it. You little nerd. <laughs> Wouldn't it be so sick if Purple was rolling in the teal space with Trebs right now? Uh, that wall piece has been taken out. The paladins are going to storm through. And all Grumpy is missing now is sight of that town center. This is an underdog story. This is a comeback story. This is a story about capes and love and commitment. Um, and fun fact, Grumpy said if he, got, if he got chosen for a community game last time that he would name his soon-to-be son T90. We'll see if Gray delivers on that. Uh, or if Teal delivers on that promise. I hope they don't, actually. That poor kid. But there goes the TC. Mr. Grumpy wins. The most created unit was 131 Teutonic Knights. And what a sick game. That was really good. There was a point in this game where I literally said, I do not see how this game doesn't just turn into yellow and orange killing everybody. And Grumpy really changed the game with the little attack move. Uh, the, the little sneaky move where he said, I'm coming for you, yellow. And then our base ate it up like a bowl of porridge. Porridge? What the? <laughs> Anyways, our ba he's Dutch, right? He probably eats porridge. And, uh, you know, the Trebs just turned around, went right into our base's base, killed the town center. And once our base was gone, Yellow was extremely isolated. And Yellow was the target as the top score player. So it was a great game. We had some great moments. Uh, and again, rule number two, just commit, man. Just commit. 
He didn't make any freaking siege when he saw Chukunu. He just made more Teutonic Knights and Paladins. And he made a lot of trebs. Uh, here's the KD for this game. Grumpy. 671 units killed. 201 units lost. Uh, economically, you did have purple above 100k. You had yellow above 100k. I'm sure other players were on pace for that had they not been killed early. Sad for Red, by the way. Uh, Red, I would extend the invitation to you to be my host in the next game. Uh, if you're still around, uh, we can maybe talk about that soon. I feel bad that you dropped. Um, I wanted to talk about this. Look at the Castle Age times. This is normally an indicator of the talent someone has in Age of Empires 2, okay? 18, 16, 18, 18, 25, 54. And then there were other times as well, but Grumpy was the latest player or the last player to arrive to the Castle Age. Ended up getting the job done anyways. Very good stuff. Again, the eco count wasn't too bad. The KD obviously was great with the unit choice. Randoming in the Teutons definitely paid off there. So, uh, you know, people watch this later on on YouTube. Let me know in the comments what you think your favorite moment was. I, you know, Grumpy had so many key moments in this game that I'm not really sure what to choose for the title. <laughs> um, I mean, the, the cape comments, great title. Uh, the I'm married comments uh, was, was pretty funny as well, but we'll figure that out, I'm sure. And I, hopefully people enjoy this one. I've been enjoying Sudden Death. Uh, we're, we love our regicide, but I've been enjoying Sudden Death and people are just getting better at it. So good stuff, guys. GG's and well played. Oh, Vilcek. Oh, Vilcek. The Vil is still being attacked by the wolf. How far back does that go? Sorry, we actually, we can't leave yet. Sorry, don't go anywhere. How long was this happening? Okay, it wasn't happening there. It was after Gray died, whenever that was. Okay, so this isn't quite as exciting as I thought it would be. Okay, so at like 59 minutes onwards. Non-stop. You can just go back and replay this a million times. I don't even need to keep, keep fast-forwarding because this just happened forever. That villager is a beast. I wish there was like an attack stat for this wolf. He's in pounce mode here, but I wish there was an attack stat that showed how many times he attacked, how much damage he did or something, but no. There's also no stats on the monk, which is sad. I wish there was a stat with Capture Rage that said how much it healed. That would actually be super cool at the conclusion of a game where you could look at this and it could say like the amount a, a monk healed or the amount of HP that monks put back on units throughout a game. Maybe I need to reach out to Capture Rage about that. Where did the wolf come from? Where did the capes come from? Where did the marriage come from? Where did the trebs come from? Does anyone know? I don't know.